We're continuing our coverage of the immigrant issues in Springfield, but tonight it is welcoming week across the nation and it couldn't come at a better time here in the Miami Valley. Welcome Dayton held an event putting the spotlight on the importance of immigrants in our community and the challenges they face. Generally Bork is now live in studio tonight and you were there. So why are events like this so important? Well, Elise, tonight's event was for the community to connect and grow relationships with each other. It was a time for immigrants to share their personal stories amid the political turmoil now happening in Springfield. Our community is in the front lines of the immigration debate, working to balance resources, uphold local values, and support those seeking a better life. Springfield, Ohio is committed to navigating these challenges while ensuring the well-being of all our residents and continuing to foster strong and inclusive, vibrant community. Springfield may be at the forefront of the political debate about immigration, but conversations about immigration happen in communities every day. This week is welcoming week in the U.S. It's meant for the community to better understand immigrants and their backgrounds. In honor of the week, the Centerville Washington Diversity Council and Welcome Dayton hosted an event. Four immigrants shared their personal experiences. I got a chance to speak one on one with Dr. Jose Torres. I asked him what some of the challenges are that immigrants face. You know, without a doubt, is the language barrier. You know, the misconception, that's a big barrier at times, especially when you just get here. Um, of course, leading to, you know, resources, how to get resources and everything. If you don't know the language, you don't know how to find them and you don't know how to ask for them. Second is the culture. People don't understand each other's cultures. Surprisingly, one man told attendees at one point he lived in the city of Springfield. I end up in Springfield and yeah, <laughs> I went to Catholic school in Springfield, a small Catholic school in there, and I meet some greatest people in my life and I never felt any different. With so many local people being connected to Springfield, I asked Torres what he thinks about some of the political conversations the city has been at the center of. We no longer agree to disagree. If we don't agree with each other, we, we're fighting against each other. We're, te we're, we're telling each other, you know, awful things. We're, t we're telling each other awful things about our cultures and, your, and yourselves. And that has to stop rhetoric on one side, rhetoric on the other side. You know, you, you know it's just, we just need to make sure that we ag agree to disagree and that's okay. And we can still be friends. Torres also told me he urges everyone to do their research before making an opinion. We'll have more of what the panel of immigrants shared on at our website at Dayton247now.com. Back to you.